Hey guys, today I wanted to film for you a quick video. This is just a video of a couple of new Milani products that I picked up. I had never tried anything from Milani before, but I've obviously, because I'm on YouTube, I've heard a bunch about it. So I wanted to give some of the products a try, and I love everything that I got. I picked it up at a store called Fred Meyer. I live in Washington State, so the Pacific Northwest. We have a lot of Fred Meyers around here, but I don't think every state has that store. So if you don't, you could probably get Milani at, I don't know about Target, maybe Walmart. I'm not 100% sure, but I know you can buy everything offline. So I'm gonna show you, I only got four different products, but I wanted to just show you what they were so that you can know if you wanna go pick them up or not. The first product that I picked up was obviously, if you watch YouTube, you will know why I picked this up. The Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. So this is the color here, and as you can tell, it is a gorgeous, peachy, nude, bronzy. It's hard to describe. You can see the color pretty well. That's pretty true to color. I will swatch a little bit for you. Not only is it incredibly pigmented, not too pigmented. I mean, you're not going to put too much on, but it is such a gorgeous color. Like, it is so beautiful. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today, so that's what it looks like when you wear it as makeup, but it's such a light but springy, gorgeous color. It is as what everyone says it is. It's so beautiful, and it goes on so smoothly, so when you apply it, it doesn't look chunky or it doesn't sit on your cheeks in a really strange way, but it is really, really gorgeous, so it is something worth picking up. I also think the packaging looks kind of nice, um, so yeah, there's that. It's fairly inexpensive. I believe it might have been around $7, but I mean, for a blush, that's really not too bad. The next product that I picked up is the Milani lip gloss. It's the Brilliant Shine lip gloss, and I got the color 303 Luminous, and this color to me looks like what I would imagine the Luminoso blush, but in a lip gloss form, and I think that's probably what they tried to achieve, and they did an excellent job of it. It is this color here, and it's kind of difficult to see, but you can see there's the blush, there's the lip gloss. And I'll put it on for you guys real quick. I'm wearing the MAC Creme de Nude lip color just so I can sort of block out my lips so you can see what the color looks like without my dark lip color underneath because I have very, very dark lips so it kind of is hard for gloss to show up. Isn't that beautiful? It's the prettiest gloss. It smells to me I just realized what it smells like. I think it smells like dates. Have you guys ever smelled like a date? Um, almost like a raisiny coffee date. That's kind of what this smells like with a hint of vanilla. Um, it is a beautiful lip gloss. It's not too sticky. I know that some people hate the stickiness of lip gloss. I'm a lip gloss person. I prefer them to lipsticks, although I have like a thousand lipsticks, so you would never know by looking at my makeup collection. But um, it's gorgeous, as you can see in the packaging, that's the color of it there. It's sort of a, it's a pinky peach with a hint of gold, coppery flecks in it. So it's very, very beautiful. I also picked up the Milani Brow Shaping Clear Wax. Everybody's been talking about clear wax brow shaping at the moment because I don't know why, I've just seen a big hype about it on YouTube. But obviously I can't swatch it for you because it's clear. So that would be a waste of time. But um, I am using, I did use it today and it really does help to keep your brow hairs in place. Have you ever done your brows? I've been really obsessed with making my brows look perfect lately. And you do your brows and then you did the design and shape of them perfectly, but the hairs are flinging out up all over the place, so it makes your brows look messy. This makes them not look messy, so that's really good. And the last product that I picked up from Milani is the Milani Brow and Eye Highlighters. I got the Matte Beige High Glow 01, and that's because I have yellow undertones in my skin, so this is just perfect. But I will up the camera so you can see a closer swatch of these. So this is the matte beige color, and basically, it's really creamy by the way. It's a really, really nice product. I'm wearing this on my face, and it's kind of hard to see. I've got this as, uh, I sort of made my brows look more perfect with this, and I used it a little bit on my inner corners. I used it a little bit as a highlight on my nose, but that was the matte beige color, and then this is the, uh, this is the high glow. 
it's kind of hard to tell, but it is a glowy can like color. It's just, you see how it reflects the light really well. I use this a little bit under my brows as well, just to give my brows a little bit of a highlight. Um, I use this down the bridge of my nose. You can use it a little bit on your cupid's bow just to kind of pop it out a little bit. And it's so great. I love that it's in stick form. I love that it's very easy to use. It's very creamy. It's very pigmented and it doesn't look too drying. It's not too shiny. It's just perfect. It's exactly what you want for a brow shaping tool. Like for me, the matte side is really good so that I can get the precision so that I just sort of line my brow with it and sort of blend it out a little bit. And then it makes that very crisp, clean line on the tail of your brow. So everything that I picked up, I love you guys. And so I had never tried Milani before, but I'd heard a lot about it. So if you are wondering, um, I would definitely pick it up. I like to always mention when I'm so highly focusing on one product or one brand, I am not sponsored, I'm not paid. I would tell you if I was, of course, I'd be 100% honest with you guys. I just picked these up because I was at Fred Meyer and I was like looking around at some makeup because you know, as you do, because I you know I don't have enough or anything. And I found all of that and I was just in love. Like I found their whole, the whole Milani section, which is new at the store, like it, it caught me. I could not go away from it. I also picked up this polish from Essie. This is the Essie bikini so teeny color. It's a very pretty periwinkle blue. Um, I have watched somebody had a periwinkle blue. Was it Nikki Philippi or was it uh, Miss Glamorazzi, Ingrid? Not 100% sure. Don't look at my nails right now because I got my nails done professionally a while ago. I had the gel polish and I had acrylics on and my nails were shredded after that. So obviously going back to natural nails because it's not worth it. But this color's really pretty and I really like it. Um, the polish, I didn't wait long enough for it to dry so it's all globules on my finger. Um, but yeah, this is really pretty as well. I did notice that Essie upped their price to $8.50 instead of $8, so eh, whatever, who cares, 50 cents. But still, it's one of the more expensive nail polishes. I have a few Essie polishes that I like, but um, yep, there's that. So I really like that color, and I think it's appropriate for spring and summer. And everything else I got was that peachy color because I'm so obsessed right now. But I just wanted to show you guys those products if you guys were wondering about Milani as I was. Um, the Luminoso blush really is every bit as good as everyone says it is. It's so beautiful. It has a very shimmery, it's like a hint of beautiful shimmer that just brings a bit of light to your cheeks. Oh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys have tried any Milani products that I just need to try. There were so many products that I just, it was so hard for me to choose which one to get. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you would like to see more videos from me, I upload very frequently. Just hit subscribe, the top link in the description box of this video, it'll subscribe you to my channel. So just click on that and, uh, I hope to see you guys at my next video. All right, thanks, bye.